Hi guys, this is Grant from Collective, and today I'm going to show you how to get relative dates using DAX. Do you have to go into your Power BI files each week and manually change the dates on your figures? If so, you might find this video very useful. No more talking, we're going to get right into Power BI. So here we have a call or we have a chart with total sales total actual sales this year and total projected sales. And so we have actual sales on their own table, sales projections in theirs, and then a calendar table. And here's the relationship. We have the calendar table connecting both the actual sales and the sales projections. And so we come here and we want to view a period of actual sales and projected sales, but we want to view 12 months prior to the last date of reported actual sales and 12 months into the future after that date. And so to do that, instead of taking the date from the calendar and putting in the page filter and manually changing the dates each week, we're going to make a new calculated column with DAX to automate this. To do that, we're going to go to new column on the calendar table and we're going to call this 24 month report. And then we'll do shift enter, give ourselves some room to work with. And then here we'll define the variable max date. And this will be the max order date. This will give us kind of that middle space where we need the 12 months prior to this date to show on the chart and we need the 12 months after. And so we will have this return and we'll do a date diff. And then we'll want to do the calendar date and then the max date. And this will return the difference between these two dates in number of months. And so this will give us this column. And you'll see here a bunch of different numbers with different distances away from the last date of actual sales. But since it's only a 24 month period, we only want 12 months prior and 12 months ahead for 24 months. And so to do this, we will surround the date diff in an if statement and we will do if this date or if the difference in months is in and we're going to use generate series here minus 12 for 12 months prior or 12 for 12 months ahead and a one an interval of one and we'll do if it's in that give us one and if it's not give us zero and so now that we have this, we'll just do enter. And this will give us here. We Now we have one or we have zero. And so the column or the value of one is what we want. And so we will take this 24 month report and add this to the filter on this page. Once it's there, you're gonna wanna go to basic filtering and then we're going to select one and that will give us 12 months prior and 12 months in the future from the last date of actual sales and that's pretty much all there is to it thank you for your time and for more videos from me and the team follow collective on linkedin and youtube thank you